Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brian Kerensky, and today I can finally show you the archival edition of Rune Factory Special. I say finally because this has languished in customs for about two weeks, and I've also just took hold of it. And with just now, I mean that I was actually preparing to shoot another unboxing when the postman rang the bell and I can finally take the liver of this edition. So, on the front cover we have what I think are the two main characters and some of the supporting cast, and I must admit I've never played this game, so I'm kinda interested to see how it is on the Switch. So, on the bottom absolutely nothing, but on the top we have a small Logan about the game, sides just the logo, and on the opposite side as well while on the back we have what appears to be the whole cast, the usual three screenshots used to describe the game, and down below the contents of this edition alongside the technical details. So, inside we'll find Room Factory 4 special game, of course, with various enhancements, a an art book, a soundtrack CD, and a download code for some swing suites. Okay, first thing first, there is this thing holding the soundtrack and the switch version of the game. And this is the pre Pretty hefty art book. Hmm. Okay. This is the game case that on the front has the two main characters and some of the secondary cast. Here we see the title of the game alongside the various typical logos you find on an American game case. Spine, nothing out of the ordinary. And on the back, again, some of the cast, two screenshots and technical details of the game. Now, my eyes spy a manual inside, or at least something like that, and yes, we have a manual. So, switch cartridge, and the manual, okay, this is the Swimsuit DLC code, the tiny tiny switch manual, always a pleasure to see a full color manual, introduction of the story, primary and secondary characters, and an explanation of the game. So I don't remember if this is uh, originally from the DS or 3DS, uh, but I see that the menu structure is uh, typical of uh, RPGs uh, and uh, management games uh, from that era, and uh, also from the Harvest Moon series, because if I'm not mistaken, this is a spin-off of that series. Credits always important, and on the back the front cover of the game in its entirety. Onward with the soundtrack, that again front cover, an artwork we've already seen, spine, just a reminder of what we are looking at, and on the back a nice location shot. Tracklist on one of the inner flaps of this 
original soundtrack and okay below the disc nothing and on the disc the two main characters and here is the room factory archival book 2006 2020 so it covers the whole series and from what I can see now, this is a quality art book because I, no I haven't noticed this before, but there is also a dust jacket. Of course, it's only glued and not properly bound, but considering the heftiness of this art book, I'm not really displeased about this. So, the front cover has, I'd say, all the main characters spine and back nothing really interesting so this comes off on the back we have uh, i don't know maybe a mascot of the series and on the back uh, another mascot i would say oh yeah there is also a description where uh, the game came out. Room Factory started way back in 2007, I think at least on Western Shores, on the DS. I was never really interested in the series because uh, I played uh, a couple of, Harvest, of Harvest Moon games before but they never really captured, captured me. They were interesting but uh, after a while uh, they became uh, a bit formulaic uh, and when I say after a while uh, in one game and I kind of lost interest uh, in doing the same stuff over and over. Which is a problem shared also by Little Dragon Cafe. A very charming game, but the progression and uh, how you do stuff uh, could have used uh, a bit more uh, variety. So let's hope this uh, Room Factory 4 special... Uh, ooh, there is also on the Wii um, a game. Room Factory 4 special uh, won't fall uh, in the same trappings. The Bath Lover. So a witch who cleans baths? Okay. Oh, a flying whale reminds me of uh, Flying Witch, an anime series. And a short section of storyboards for the animated introduction, I would say. So, f oh, Room Factory 3 is still on the DS. A lot of characters in every game. Storyboards for the animated entry. 
Tides of Destiny is PS3 and Wii. enemies looking at this artwork I must say I made a mistake in missing these games when they came out ok, Room Factory 4 is on the 3DS and of course on the Switch So I guess I spoiled a bit of the game by going through this art book but then again I don't really know if the special edition adds new stuff other than remanaging menus and graphics Various key arts and message from the development team along with a very short Q&A for each and every one I'd say that this is a typical American limited edition not particularly big but what's inside is well done and you can see that Marvelous really cared about this game I'd say that the art book is the highlight of this edition, but everything else that's included is no slouch either. So, if you are interested in this game, I'd say you should track down one of the copies of this archival edition. You won't be disappointed. A first hour play of this game will follow soon enough, and I think I'll also review it, although I am a bit late with this one. But due to certain circumstances, the release schedule has dried up, so I have quite the time to dedicate to this game before the next one. In the meantime, I hope you have enjoyed this review and you stick around for more. Briarios Kerensky, over and out.